hi guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to another video so in today's video i'll be sharing with you guys some study strategies in order to basically prepare for your cxc exams and just overall exams whatever exams they are do now the thing about it that people need to understand is that if you need to if you want to pass your exams you need to ensure that you figure out what your study strategy is like are you a visual learner auditory learner like what do you retain the most if you see something you gotta remember it if you hear it are you going to remember it so basically in this video i'll be just sharing some study strategies with you on how to pass your exams now so for me i've always realized that when i write things i remember it a lot more and i'd say that that was the strategy that i used the most in high school when i like for example, I read something, we just gotta write it back, write it back, write it back, write it back. And we say, oh, remember, because like for me, me is a visual person. And so each time I write it, even if me not fully remember, me I remember, say, oh, me remember how the pages look. I may remember exactly what I write, say. Because like, I'm that type of person. No, so for some people, flashcards might be the way. So for example, if you know, say you need something, somebody fold up the card, hold up the card. Ask this question, there's flashcards. If you are that type of person, then you can use flashcards. You can make your own. You can literally get a piece of paper, write the write the questions and then write the answer on the back and just study like that. So that is more like for people who I'd say they're more active, they don't want to sit down and read, read, read. They need something to keep them entertained, they roll up the cards and then they try to explain and then look at the answer and see if them get it right, yes or no. So you might be a flashcard type of person. We need to figure it out and see, alright, do I really learn from flashcards or in our really help me, right? And as I said before, we'll go back to the whole writing, right? right? Literally writing was a strategy that I used a lot in high school. In university, it's a bit harder now to do it because like the amount of notes is out of this world. The PowerPoints out of this world and my hand them can't really write all of that. But back then, it really helped me a lot. Even the period when I was in chemistry, but then the periodic table, all the day I learned the periodic table, we took my lunchtime, them, eat my food, I literally just write down all the elements and the numbers, them, and match it. That was how I learned back then the periodic, the first 20 elements of the periodic table, of the periodic table and their atomic number and their atomic mass. That's what I did back then. So, as I said before, flashcards, and as I said, writing. Now, Another um, study strategy that could work for you is actually YouTube videos. Now, some people, they more for what them love, they just love see things, which for me, me love see things. And so, if you know you like that, go on YouTube, find a video explaining that particular topic, and just sit down and watch it. Some people just have to see colors and have to see moving things to keep, I'm saying, no, quote unquote, entertained or to keep focus right because some people have really low attention span so if you need if you need something to like really keep your attention span because some people writing i go bore them flashcards i go bore them so they would prefer to watch youtube videos just watch somebody explain it on youtube and you see how them get it really quickly so some people are like that so if you know that you're that type of person you can definitely try this if you know you have low attention span you can say all right the same way how people glue to the phone and then glue to the laptop, glue to the TV, I watch TikTok, I watch YouTube videos, I watch entertainment and all these things. The same way you can glue to it and watch your work. What somebody explaining and understand if it's biology, you're not you're not you're literally not gonna have no problem with finding a video explaining biology, you're not gonna find a video explaining chemistry and all other stuff, maths, you'll find a video explaining it. So you guys can definitely go by YouTube. Write in it and sit down and watch it. And, be, and one other tip too is that all these strategies that I'm mentioning in this video, you, it may not be like a one case for people, right? So if for example, you realize that sometimes you use flashcards, sometimes you use writing, sometimes you use YouTube videos. So it can be a mixture. It can be a combination. But you just have to figure out, all right, make a work with these three study strategies and make work with these two and all that stuff, right? So now for some people, talking out loud help them study. Like, they just have to hear their own voice as say it, and that is how they remember. Right? Now for me, I did use that sometime as well. We just like to say it out loud, and then just take it, say it with my mouth, take it in with my ears. Like, some people like to hear themselves, and so talking out loud can really help them, the brain, like, work, you know, like, yeah, say it, yeah, hear, yeah, say it, yeah, hear. 
and just overall explaining it to yourself. Now, some people, you know, one of the best study strategies is literally explaining something to yourself, right? But the thing about me is that when I explain something to myself, it's almost like me can't explain it as well to somebody else. I don't know if that ever happened to anybody, but when I explain it to myself, I explain it so well. But to somebody else, to somebody else is like me keep on leave out certain details, kind of. Right, but talking out loud, explaining it back to yourself is a, absolutely a good strategy. But also, now, if you're someone who you know you like study groups, you know, so you work well in study groups, you're learning study groups, you can try out study groups and see if they work for you. You can get your friend, you can get your classmate, you can get whoever. Even online study groups, people probably have online study groups and stuff. You can go with them, study with them online and all that stuff. You can literally do that. Form your study group, come together, decide on a topic, and all I want to just sit down and, you know, practice and go over the questions and go over the notes together in a study group. So you might be someone who learns that way. You can try that strategy and see if it works for you. Then they have some people who they just need someone to question them after they've already studied. Now for me, I'd say that at one point, maybe in primary school back then, it was easier. You know, when you're younger, it's easy to ask you to do things to you, right? So for me, if I study something, I can say, Alright, mommy, ask me these questions. And then I study, and then ask me the question, and I try my best to explain it back to them, right? So if you have that good friend, good sister, good mother, good or good cousin, good brother, you can ask them to ask you some questions, and you answer them. That is a really good study strategy. You can also make a study timetable where you just go sit down, read your notes, them, and go through all that stuff. If you feel like you might work best alone and you just want to study timetable to keep it organized, go ahead and do that. Make a study timetable, go inside, and say, alright, one hour today, one hour tomorrow. Sit down and you do a little study and you know, that can work as well if you're someone who likes to study alone. But let me just recap all the study strategies. More study strategies, I can leave them down in the comment section below. But let me just recap of all the study strategies in this video. And the first one I said was you can use flashcards. You can use talking out loud, writing down information, explaining to yourself, explaining to someone. You can test yourself after each topic, either you test yourself or perhaps you get maybe um, your mother, your cousin, your brother, your sister or somebody to question you. You can explain to people, you can use study groups, you can use a study timetable, study by yourself. So guys, there are endless ways of you preparing for your exams so no excuses and if for example you know that um one other way one other one other like study strategy that i recommend is that when it comes like especially in the very close to cse time there will be a lot of teachers who go live doing past papers um they go for topics live on youtube so it's really good if you can join one of the lives and you just you can go along it's almost like a class online and you have people from jamaica guyana trinidad all about the place on that live people are coming to teach all of them thing they in the comment section and say oh sir i don't understand that part how oh, sir I get two even if the teacher does not answer you there will be people in the comment section with you say oh that's what he did and blah 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 so basically the youtube lives that are close to um cse exams those are very very interactive so you guys can give those a try guys just do any if you do and these are just some study strategies that i recommend you doing it's all about discipline and just taking the time out and trying to become your best selves and basically you're just trying to pass your exams right so do you need to do if you need to write down information if you need to talk out loud, if you need to explain it to yourself, if you need to explain it to somebody, if you need to form study groups, if you need a study timetable, if you need to watch YouTube videos, at the end of the day, just do what you need to do in order to pass your CXC exam. But guys, this is the end of this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you guys have any um, other study strategies that I did not mention in this video, Go ahead and comment them right down below and that's the end of today's video bye guys